Man, we are live. Yes. An FMA discussion, special theme episode with uh, talking about the seminar over the weekend with uh, GM Bobby over here, Bobby Tawara Balintawak, June Eliseo, uh, June. And um, we have a special guest. Uh, we have FMA Pulse oh, <laughs> the <background>. playing, <laughs> playing the role. Hanging out in the background. I, I'm putting him to work. No. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, all right, Julius. I'm gonna I'm gonna check out. I'm just waiting to pull the video up, man. Guys, again, thank you for coming on. I hope you guys have a, a great show. I'm sure it will be. Um, you're in good hands with Julius and all that. All right. Thank you. I am lowering. Right, so this this is a episode 138 technically that we're doing, and um, there's a lot of things that you know we have in the itinerary. Do you want me to show the video um, first? And then maybe we should talk. No, let's introduce first, like let's, this particular let's, let's, theme. Let's talk talk about the uh, yeah event and then the maybe theme, do yeah some yeah this theme of um you guys are one of the most best reviewed uh, one of the most best reviewed seminars you know of recently which just happened uh, last weekend, <laughs> and I want you to talk about that in particular. I want you to talk about the people that were there and uh, what different backgrounds that they had because it wasn't. It was a Balinto Walk seminar, but you had other FMA um, systems and luminaries over there, correct? Yes. So, yeah. so please go over that. Yeah, June, you know, you know those people. <laughs> I, <don't> know, <laughs> right. I know there's di different <laughs> kinds of martial arts down there. So, yeah, um, just uh, announce who, who is that people. I will give thank to them too. You know. Okay. No, absolutely, absolutely. Well, first of all, you know, you know, I've been. You know, having been under GM Bobby for for a long time, it's always been, hey, you know what, welcome and be friendly and basically be kind of a, a good example out there. And always had a lot of good connectivities with a lot of the different groups. Uh, wasn't sure who all was going to show up, but surprisingly, uh, a lot of groups from out of state and a lot of groups from across the state actually came in in full support. And it was uh, very, very, very much appreciated for their presence. And... Uh, there's been a lot of good reviews from from them in terms of what they shared. A couple of the people, just to kind of note, you know, note who the groups were. Um, there's Progressive Arnis with Chad and him out of Miami. Uh, Luz Vimin, the group that's uh, out of um, Tampa. Arnis International with uh, with the Chewies over there. Uh, well, Jun and Paul show over there. <laughs> I don't know if you know those guys. Um, well, with that comes Hirosa de Cuerda's group, of course, uh, that's there. Uh, Maktan FMA, who was uh, out of Cincinnati, uh, Mr. Michael Milnyawan over there. Uh, New York City Balintawak uh, showed up there. Um, Rock Hill Balintawak uh, was there as well. And of course, uh, FCS uh, guys from, from uh, I think, Tampa, Orlando. And then, of course, uh, this guy was here too, FMA Pulse. So uh, we've got kind we of- can't, a We can't see him right now, so can you oh. turn the camera? Oh, Sorry. there, there you are. There you are. IGF. Oh, there you, there you are, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, there he is. <laughs> We're the, we got, we got him working in the background. <laughs> but, he he uh, was one of our inspirations, besides Stephen K. Dowd. So thank you for everything you do, sir. Just want to give a shout out. Uh, there, there you go. There. And um, and uh, and uh, I, I do want to also thank uh, Lift District Fitness, uh, who basically was the host. Uh, that was host there. Um, they canceled a lot of the events that they had for the day to open it up for us. And uh, I kept them up to speed with everything, but I just want to show my appreciation for the guys out of uh, uh, Lip Fitness District that uh, where the event was hosted. But yes, but overall, it was uh, pretty much a lot of who's who across the across the FMA scene that was, uh, uh, you know, from Tampa to Orlando to um you know here in miami and west palm beach as well too that that was down here so it was a uh, really great to see the community everybody was very very excited to kind of connect and and just really uh touch base and you know it's been it's been a whole year of not being able to train and and, and do things together so so that was kind of a uh, first one out and actually so, the first one the first event that you did right gm bobby for since since for the a year yeah <laughs> but yeah. I have 19 seminars canceled for the whole uh, COVID thing, and um, this is my first time. Oh, well, there's a Zoom and checking up all my uh, qualified <laughs> instructors and, right, uh, you know, visit them. Yeah, and then next week, next week, they're going to be in Ohio 
uh let me get a little bit of uh insights there it's gonna be um in ohio next week next week with uh, Maktan fma jim bobby's gonna be there for a saturday balinta walk seminar 9 a.m to uh i guess there's a there's a level testing at 9 a.m to 11 a.m and then from there they have their 1 30 to 6 30 p.m uh main, main seminar event so uh if anybody wants to check it out do check out uh, Maktan fma online and um get some some of the details there so bef before I do want to show the video, we need to like go over more like a detail for here for episode 138, which is a theme episode. Yeah. Um, I'll show the video later because I'm afraid of losing GM Bobby. Because if we lose GM Bobby now, there's nobody to help him. And lo <laughs> lo lo <laughs> no. We talk on Facebook. It's going to be a long chat here. Oh. Hey, guy, hey, no, no, let's not do that. So the first thing in the itinerary was to ask you in Yom Samahan essentially like the history of like you meeting each other how it came about you know because you were based was in nc uh, first right and then you're based in florida so just like go over now anyway oh, okay so, kind of so, so just go over like your history of like you know how you became like you know superman and superboy over here <laughs> superman and superboy. <laughs> Best, best boy would have been fine. <laughs> uh, well, well I, you know, I'd, I'd uh, you know, I'll maybe um, have GM Bobby kind of share kind of uh, his his direction with uh, GM George Penfield, who was my my first teacher with, that introduced me to to the scene and and FMA and Balinta Walk all together. Maybe a little bit of insights to that, GM Bobby. Yes, uh, uh, don't forget forget to uh, thanks for uh, the one who helped you also, uh, Vincent Malanyaon. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so, uh, Absolutely, yeah. yeah. George Minapil is my first student, uh, first qualified instructor in Cincinnati, Ohio, really. Yeah, so, so yeah, so uh, I'll give you a little bit of insights there. So uh, I've been, actually, I started off in Cincinnati with with uh, Grandmaster George Penfield, who was um, Grandmaster Bobby Tabata's uh, first uh, full qualified instructor here in the U.S. Uh, I didn't realize that actually till a few years ago, but uh, been training ever since 2001 or 2002, uh, and you know went through the rankings and and you know whatever the rankings were and basically I you know it was never kind of the direction. It was just I had a good time. I was learning the art. It was something that was uh, deep in my culture, and I just kind of kept on. Yeah. And, uh, and GM George just just. Uh, just kind of, you know, kind of continued to uh, push and said, hey, this is what you're doing. I was like, okay, hey, no problem. We'll, we'll kind of do that. About 2000, the end of 2005, uh, the last camp there, I ended up, um, I ended up uh, moving the, uh, actually, no, I, I ended up getting my, quali uh, my qualified, my completion of art and um, before moving to Florida. And for, I still was in the scene going to Vegas, going to the different, uh, uh, seminars and camps that Jim Bobby would have, and you know, of course, you know, meeting with the Cincinnati Balinta Walk Club that uh, uh, Grandmaster George was running, and uh, basically been been kind of active ever since. But uh, family and life and work and everything kind of had to continue and and take place before the training, and uh, I wasn't uh, fully active. I was still training, and this is where I thank um, uh, fellow fellow uh, FQI, Michael Malanyaon, you know, behind the scenes, even though I wasn't fully active, I was connected heavily to Cincinnati and he was, uh, he was there, him and his students, I'd go there and be able to touch hands, help um, kind of stay sharp. So even though I was out of the scene for five, six years, I was still main, remaining sharp with the help of the Cincinnati, Cincinnati Balintawa Club legacy, which was led by uh, Michael Malanyaon. So with that, I was able to kind of continue that. And of course, about 2016, uh, when Grandmaster George Pendlefield passed away, I said, you know what, it's something I need to stop putting putting back and, and actually make a priority. And that's where the direction of saying, hey, you know what, let me go ahead and focus on the FQI um, uh, possibility here as what we've actually um, been always kind of, uh, pushed for. And that's where I connected back with, uh, with Grandmaster um, Bobby and really and well, I've been connected anyway throughout the years. It's just that that's when I started to say, all right, you know what? I go back to another camp. For that year, I practiced and trained 
to go back into the camp, reintegrate back with everybody, see where everybody's at, see what's going on, and really um, continue on with the uh, with the journey. Yep. Yeah. That that's pretty cool. Um, and and I I want to hear that in in a sense of from Jim Bobby's perspective because we heard your side. Yes. I want to hear him from his history side. Then you see June, like when you saw him, you're like, who's this kid? You know, my job is, uh, bananas. <laughs> <laughs> my job is always um, like um, uh, looking after all these people, you know, like mostly when they go for completion of the art. Okay, before you go to completion of the art, I have to see from the beginning of it. Even though you already passed from the beginning, level one up to level five, but when you go for level six for completion of the art, I still test you from level one to level five up to six. If you don't pass the level one, that means you cannot go to level two. So that's how I I uh, I um, test people, and then um, that is why they don't stop. Uh, always go back to the beginning and then when you have that then I have to sometimes we have seminar or world camp I always teach first the uh, mm -hmm. completion and qualified instructors um, to give them uh, uh, what we call this application for all what they learn like for example the executing of the um, strikings and mostly the grouping system will talk of the town but they don't know that grouping system is just like grid three in elementary that is not a fight okay i always tell everybody that that is not a fight you are only learning to that the real fight on that the one will be effective is the counter of the grouping system but I will not teach you that if you cannot get the basics of the grouping system. That's that, why that, that is my job as a grandmaster to visit and practice all my, you know, uh, my instructors to uh, like pulsing them up, polish them. Right? Well, they've been going to England. You know, everywhere, Australia, New Zealand, I still polish them. Even they training with me for 25 years, I still polish them for the level one and two. Yes. Because, you know, I am very careful on that because that is my uh, life down there. And that if that will be, uh, you know, forgotten, then there's no use. I've been uh, promoting this art worldwide for more than 50 years now. So that is very treasured to me. Everything there from the basic, that is very treasured to me. And I never change all the system. Instead, I put some more in it. But that was uh, talking of the town also in the martial arts in Balinto, also that why did I change the system? I never changed the system. I put some more in it. This is not old computer. This is now, uh, this is not old typewriter. This is now computer this time. So my goal here is when I check up all my students, I want them to be better than me so that my teaching will be shown that it's not wasted. That's my job as a grandmaster. That's it. Even though when I visit that there in uh, Florida this uh, this week or last week, my aim there is training for the new beginners or the Balinto works also, because that is the hardest part. You know, I want them to see me how I teach, how I give the seminar. Mostly, when you give my first seminar in Germany, we have about six hundred people. And these people doesn't know anything about Balintawak. They were all some Piketty Tertia, modern armies, and lightning scientific, and all kinds of martial arts. So we are there, like special guest myself, and with uh, 
that is uh, Dieter Nottel is the host and Alan Platt. And I ha we have um, Mark Dini, a good friends, Sunny Umpad, and Bram Frank was there too. So it, everything is there. So 600 people. And you know what? That is always I teach when I give seminar, how to teach these people with they don't know about Balintawak. These people are already knows what they have. They already believe what they learn from somebody else. So they, they take care of it. So there is Grand Master Bobby Tabuada before I was fat, big tummy, and no hair. Who is this Grand Master, you know? <laughs> and mm, I'm thinking about that. Uh, maybe someday it's, somebody's going to be some will be a jump at me, you know, try to test me, you know. But because of counter for that is the friendship. When I go there, I go everyone, even how low they are, they will always be higher than me. That's what I am. Always, you know, shake hands to everybody. And then there we go. I, I don't I don't let them believe that I'm I a grandmaster, you know, just make friends with them. Then you give a demonstration and give seminars. There's no hassle. Then that is the hardest part. How to teach these people with no nothing about Balintawa. Mm -hmm. So that is the, the hardest that I have to, to teach worldwide. Yep. Mostly when you don't know how to speak English. Mm. So that is the hardest part. So sometimes I don't teach any Balintawak anymore, you see. Because it won't be teach Balintawak because we train one on one. Right? I I show them I created something that it will connect to different kinds of martial arts. That is why it comes really big now, because the way I created, it has to go to everybody. That, I, that is why we don't have any enemies or no good. Mostly I have friends for everybody. Dosi Paris, you name it. It's all in my book coming uh, in uh, 12 months from now or 13 months from now. Everything that I have created, all the grandmasters and masters, all my qualified instructors that I owe a lot, Mostly, I give them credit on this book. And actually, the foreword of that uh, book is this. Senator Miguel Suberi is already here. See? Wow. And I have lots of, uh, you know, people from different martial arts uh, have uh, testimony. And also my... Uh, instructors had this testimony and even some completion of the art i let them testimony a little bit you know something like that so that is the hardest part how to teach them to make them uh you know they will they will like what you have because they already believe what they have so what can i give them to fit them they don't know about balito you see but i'm not we're not used to that <laughs> Uh, lots of people, we only use one-on-one. -on -one. I teach before like 16 people in one night, one-on-one -on -one, up to 2 o'clock in the morning. Wow. And that's how I learn. So if I teach the way they teach me before, then it won't work. Believe me, it won't work because... I mean, it won't work for promotion, promote, promoting the art, because it's one on one, not like the uh, Dosi Paris, La Punte, whatever they have. They can't believe they, they like it because they have a uh, a lot of twirling stops and am around this, am around that. We don't want that before, but now I wish I learned that before. I wish I learned that before. That is why now I am trying, every time I saw some 
Even bad twirling stuff. I have to study it. Wow, it's good. Even yourself, everybody. If there's something, have something to offer, like they give, uh, grandmaster give seminars, go and uh, support them and learn even just three, four techniques in one seminar. That is really good already. Because mostly grandmaster, they will give the best what they have on that seminar. Train it, rehearse it, practice it. Then, when you're used to it, you think how to counter it. And that counter is not mine. It's not the other people. It is yours already. That is how I call it. You become now uh, advanced for yourself. But my techniques, when I pass it to you, that counter, I pass it to you, that is semi-advanced. Otherwise, if I see advance, then you stop already. Oh, I have your master tabuadas. Because that, that thing won't work. Your stuff won't work because I have advanced techniques already by Grandmaster Tabuada. I, I don't like that. Eh? I always call him semi-advanced. Even my technique that I give you, semi-advanced. Even that is already uh, myself uh, as advanced for me because that is my techniques that I created. When I pass it to you, see me advance so that, they, so that they won't stop training. And that is, you know, what I teach everybody of my uh, qualified instructors. There is lots of training for qualified instructors that they don't know yet. I want the, the lessons now is trying to teach, teach, teach the feeding part of it. Feeding part of it, like from the beginning, it's all basic. Until you're used to it. That is why I have that muscle memory. Yes. Right? Once you have that muscle memory, there is a training for students and different training also in the grouping system for the qualified instructors. Mm -hmm. Right? Students is the receiver, they're just learning. All right. Now the instructors are really giving, so they're practicing now how to hit. But control, everything is controlled. Nobody gets hurt. Right? We have to control that. That is that is why I'm looking at also when it comes to test. I want your control and your character. Only three, three uh, rules in the test. If you drop your sticks, that's the end of the test. You're cursing like efforts, you automatically. Right? And also cursing. And also uh, hitting your partner. That's how I... I have to be careful on that. I have to follow what they have given me before. All right. Even talking about tournaments. Yeah, I I support some tournaments. Yeah, that's good. It's a good fun. Go. Why not? But in my side here, the, to treasure all my all my learning way back. The the, the grandmaster had. Uh, leave me their uh, their knowledge. I treasure it so much. Just don't talk bad about my thing, my my grandmaster's will, because that is my life. I don't have any education. That is the only education that I have, and I promise them I promote this art worldwide, and it works without education. That is part of my book, really. How to. Uh, how did I do this to the world without education? And it works. Right? Mm -hmm. So that thing there, the, the, the application, there's a lot of application. The counters never ends. That is the quintada means. Think about the chess game. What is your next move? Think ahead twice. If I give this like a bait, just like the graces. Bait, bait, bait. What is his next move? Like that. See? That is their life. They know what they're doing. I, I believe that I wish I practiced the old way. I wish I practiced the, uh, the twirling stuff. Because now it can be used. The twirling stuff, if they use Kamagong, uh, you're going to be knocked out too. So, 
uh, we don't believe that before because the stick won't, won't hurt too much because I can I can I can accept the pain that's what it is hit me any way you want on my body I don't really care sometimes I get some people after demonstration outside the uh, audience to come inside give them the stick I put my hands down here hit me hard as you can as fast as you can I don't care about that, but don't hit me in the head. And that because that is your machine. Right? That is why Balintawak direct. During tournament, I want to make this clear. We're talking about the time in reality. It's always in reality, but I haven't seen any reality fighting yet here. Since I have been 50 years of doing this, uh, promoting the art. I haven't seen any killing there or breaking the heads off. No. We're training them how to defend themselves because uh, that is the hardest part. My grandma, she always say, the hardest part is how to defend yourself. Believe me, even in karate, the easiest way to learn in martial arts is how to hit somebody. And we always do direct to the head. That is why we don't do it. The only uh, club in Cebu that won't do in the tournament is Palintawak. Why? Because we don't hit in the body much. We always direct to the head, right? In tournament, we gonna like to win, all right? So we get the point. So you're not fighting the Palento Act already. You're fighting the rules of what the rules are. But that is not our rules, all right? We fight the right to hit, all right? We don't fight just like this, like this, like this, okay? It's always direct to the head. But it is a good fun, there is a, uh, there's a body protector and hit gear, that's fine. If you like it, that's fine. But I always support that. That's in care. But I have to treasure it the way I learned before. Because it is very important to me, that one. Right? So when the, the, the like, uh, the, this is one thing also. Friendly fight. Okay. Uh, give and take. Change ideas that impact a long time ago that is not possible. All right? It will always end up to real fight, believe me. Exchange ideas. <laughs> Mostly when I am in the school, I'm teaching there. Then somebody will come that we don't know what is the what is the uh, style, you know. They just want to see. But you know that school that we have, we drink. All right. That is a long time ago. I don't drink now because this is United States. So we let them drink. When they when they drink like one, twice, three times, one glass. Uh, believe me, the one who gunner, we call it the gunner, is Master Zach Taco. He is the one who will pass all this uh, uh, glass. But me first in the middle, because I'm the teacher, of me first. Because uh, sometimes, you know, we have only one bottle and plus lots of cokes and things like that. And it's very expensive, so me first so now when we give them a uh offer them a drink yeah okay that's good but they watching our our practice there they get bored because it's always black and counter black and counter stop and stop stop and stop no hitting no twirling black and stop black and stop they get bored and then they get you know fired up and Thing one, three times a uh, glass, and he go, Oh, sir. Um, then they go to the uh, bunch of uh, 
bunch of uh, steak. Once we saw that people going to the bunch of steak, every one of us here we looking at say, that's my turn now. No, you have that last time. No, that's mine. That's mine already. So we are arguing who is going to fight this guy because we know that he got more than good steak and he will say, okay, I have something here. How do you block this way, like this way? And that's the time you, you always end up real quiet also. I'm actually glad that you brought up in the beginning of when you spoke. Um, it, I, I, I sent an outline and a list of questions for you and Elisteo and June. And I was supposed to ask this during the end of our, 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 our interview, but um, you touched on it when you started talking. And I'm just going to ask both of them right now. How does the group? How does the grouping method differ from GM Bobby's super quantata methodology? Okay. And pl please and and please explain the difference between level six completion of the system and level seven qualified full instructor. Okay. All right. Loaded question here. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Your popcorn is sort of ready. <laughs> Got the counter for every counter. <laughs> As I said. That group is some people, mostly, you know, like some other styles of Palinto a long time ago. Some of them non grouping system. They believe what they have already, right? Because that is came from Manchum. Came from Manchum backward. Now, sometimes they will they will say, okay. I really want to practice that grouping system. Then I always tell them, why don't you, why do you practice grouping system? You already had that. Everything is in your system already. We just bring that. The grandmaster like Attorney Villasen and Tupilo Villas is the one who make it into a grouping to make it safety. All right? Otherwise, it's always like lots of accidents mm. right? but i i still have to i still have to uh change a little bit of this uh you know a little thing that it really works you know but the grouping system that is came from yes in this so okay i told him that is training with somebody else grandmasters you don't have to practice grouping system. You have that already. Can you explain the difference between the level six completion system and level seven qualified for instructor for me? I'm talking about your Balintawa. Okay. Like right. now, after that grouping system, that is level three, just like grade three in uh, elementary. And then we have after that the level four for the test. Uh, level four is. Uh, I mean, um, Buddy. pushing Buddy. and pulling, and and uh, batting techniques Buddy. using all the bat only, and combination with the bats. But still, I I don't teach the hard batting. Otherwise, it's gonna be lots of accident. Also, only when you ready for qualified instructor, <laughs> and then that is level four plus some of the uh, power strike two power strikes drills so when you pass that now you're going for level five which all disarms disarming techniques disarming techniques long time ago when we grew up when i grew up on that maybe nine ten disarming i put some more in it I make it 12 the other side, 12 the other side. But I want to make it sure during the test that you know already how to feed somebody. While you're feeding, you disarm number one the other side, number two up to number 12. And feeding again, number one up to number 12 the other side. Like that. So that is not me. That is only learning at the moment. Now, after that is level six. Completion of the art. Okay, so you have to learn now the whole system 
that you're learning, that I teach you. Is I only give to help me advance technique, not advance either. Right? So once you learn that, then you have to feed your partner. And then apply that I give you level one, like the uh, uh, semi advanced number one. You must have to apply one grouping system. Each one of 12, 12 techniques right, that I give you. And when you pass that, now you are ready to teach. Right? But it's not teach like commercialized teach. Oh, I teach it because I complete the art. No, not yet. You're far away yet. You just start the beginning now. You're now teaching somebody to make the completion of the art. Right? Now, that completion of the art, you have to demonstrate the grouping system and apply that semi-advanced number one and then apply the attack more than 10 times. Each one. Plus, your own 24 techniques that I did not teach you. All right? You have to create 24 techniques. That is why I don't care what your techniques is. You have your primary... Uh, Styles. If you have Pikiti Tertia, apply techniques Pikiti Tertia, number one. Only 24 I need. While Balinta works stick fighting motion, play. And then after you do your technique, apply more than 10 times strike, like a twirling stuff. 24 techniques, that's plenty already. Some people will say, oh, you already have that Everything is very hard. No, it's not very hard to learn the techniques. As I said, my techniques that I give you, think how to counter it. That counter is not mine anymore. That will make you an advanced student. But not me can give you an advanced student. You only still see me advanced when I pass it to you. Now, that advanced that you techniques already that you created, when you pass it to somebody, that will see me advance again so that the students won't stop. Why these people with me now, 25 years, uh, 29 years, they're still coming? Because they're seeking that, because I have plenty also to give. I'm still learning myself because there's lots of, of practitioners. Myself. That's what I have to look at every time they show the techniques because in YouTube or something, they show the best what they have. Right? Practice it now. Think how to counter it. Now, that counter is not from anybody. That is yours. You put numbers in it. Mm -hmm. That is your number one. Like that. See? That is very simple to me. But you have to to give me one student to become a completion of that, that is your partner. If your completion of the part will pass, then you pass for your qualified. If your student will fail in front of me, I'm the one who tested it, then you failed also. That's how it's simple is it. How do I know if you're a good instructor? If I cannot see your partner. That's why it become big because some disqualified instructors. I tell the truth. There's no secrets here. I, I tell the truth. That is why they are helping me also to find instructor or to find some people. That's not my people. That is your people. All right. So it will become big. That is why. It becomes worldwide. If I teach the way back home, they teach me, it won't work. Because it's one-on-one. -on -one. How can you? Maybe 30 years, you have a good three people, good, 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 good practitioner. 
So you have to create something also the twirling stuff that they can get, but make it sure that you have that correctly. I can teach you that. I can give you something on that that you don't believe yourself, that you don't forget me anymore or your life. Mm -hmm. to creating how to make that thing by yourself. But I, I know, uh, I think John uh, really knows how to do that. I keep practicing on it. <laughs> it's not my style anymore. It's just yours. Yeah. But mainly your character and your attitude, that's the main thing. Before, to go for the grouping system. Eight months depends on counter in control. In control. I cannot hit back. Because we don't have that striking, walking, and what to strike. We always control. The grandmaster is always looking after the school, mostly the wife of the grandmaster. If there's something there, they get blood, oh, they're going to get upset. It's going to be very bloody if we do is it sparring. Yeah. Is it a cosa as well? <laughs> huh? Nothing, nothing. I can't say that. Now I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Is it Takosa as well? Takosa Warrior Society. Takosa Warrior Society. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's lots of things that, uh, you know, I... My job is to look after everybody. I, I, this is I and E. That is my job as a Grandmaster, sure. to visit all my qualified instructors. And Every time they will ask, who is the guy that you have representative in Florida? Now you have the John Barr. Who is in LA? There you go. Who is in the, who is everywhere in the world? It's it for me because they want me. So I am the one who. I want, I want to get to the methodology question later on. So I'm going to ask this first. See, here's the thing. If I pop that video, if I log out of this LSAO and pop that yeah. video on the yeah. queue, we can't do that because it's gonna kick GM Bobby out, and he's yeah, no, he's, he's not he's not gonna be able to come in. So, yeah, let's keep let's keep the flow until. <laughs> yeah. So so what, what we're gonna do is okay. I'm I, just gonna I want show. to finish this uh, thing. That okay. is why we don't have any uh, any uh, sparring, or we don't have any tournament because it's gonna be very bloody. Because we really don't need any uh, body protector, and, and you know, otherwise, if I have in a fight, if there's no body protector, oh, I did not bring my body, it's gonna be hurt. No, 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 no. I growing up, I'm grow up on Balintawak with no body protector, and that's what I said. The Billis, that the one that the question, Billis, Billisin, and Chumpacon, or Pinong Ibanez. I feel what kind, what kind of pain I received from them. And that is it, how you can, you can, uh, you can practice yourself on that, how to counter, how to uh, defend yourself on that. Like answering back on, I've been to this. Masters, my grandmasters, Villasen Pelis, Tino Ibanez, now they pass me, that, that is the way back home, see? They pass me to the grandmasters so that they can make some little bit of money to, you know, like that. It's passing away. Once you're growing up, you keep pass it to you. Like that. Even I have students back there in Philippines, I have to send it to my masters so that they can make money also, right? Now, they pass me Billy Asin. I know that kind of pain. I have lots of blood coming from Biliasin also. Mostly Bilis. And so not much. But it is like it is hard because it's always there. It's always it. He always when you when you read it, go to him and he will say, Okay, who take that side? And that's what I think is hitting me on that. So they don't tell you. How to block it? Figure it out yourself. Because you're already there, they already pass you because you're good already. Now, figure it out yourself. Maybe hundred slides, maybe only depends three or four. And then figure it out yourself. 
I get it. Now when I get it, he said, oh, that's good. Okay, that's good already. Now go to the other side. Protect the other side. Now that's very easy already because I know already, you see. And then they pass me go back to Billis. Billis was there. Johnny Chutin was there. Samboot was there. And who else was there? There's lots of them there. Uh, Anshung, Anshung said, Bobby will take over Dilpin Lopez's position. I don't know who is Dilpin Lopez before. That is the best fight in Valento. It's very bad, you know, because aside from my store, like six foot four or something, six foot six, something like that, and it's big. And he's only had a gun all the time because he is the leader of like ALO, like uh, workers' union. He's very bad. So now he told Billy's and everybody, Bobby is the one we think over Dilpin Lobby's his position, you know, like the way I fight. And then everybody's quiet, just like, <laughs> I didn't know that, that's jealous. When <laughs> Anthony gone, he said, he said, oh, so you're good now, huh? <laughs> yes. Thank you for giving me to him, you know, like that. Okay, uh, get the sticks. So they asked me to get the sticks. I get sticks. Two sticks. Give one to him, and there we go. Come on. We play. We call it play. Then I go with, go to the grass, slimy, bloody here, nailing down. The same time, crying. What did you do this to me? Why did you do this to me? I said, I will not practice Palintawak anymore. I, I, I threw my stick I will not practice Palintawak anymore. You did not teach me your secret. Why I can easily defend Bilyasin, defend Anchong, defend everybody? Why can't I defend my master, uh, Bilyas? And Bilyas is only a student for them. From them huh? Why did you, you did not teach me your secret? And he said, bullshit, there is no secret. You know what is the secret? Since the beginning, I'm the one who teach you. I know what is your next move. I said, oh, yeah. Then I wake up. <laughs> that's it. So I become, I become uh, uh, loyal on that club since then. Tell us about this move. Um, Who's that? <laughs> that's, that's you. Hold on. From who? That's who is my partner? Me. That's what. That was last week. Uh, the instructor's oh, class. Okay. The power. Wait, wait, of wait, wait. You can you can do a color color commentary as it's going. Uh -huh. What is that? Uh, uh, Jude? Uh, the Albert, the power of Benico. Oh, <laughs> looking about the Benico. Okay, really, we don't. Uh, he's looking at Bati. Yeah, he's yeah, he's pulling up the video of the Abanico that we took. You know, for the day before the seminar. Did the you feel your life flash across your eyes? Power strike almost. And like touch me right here and i was like <laughs> not knowing what so, was going on <laughs> and that is the heavy one already i call him uh, you know i cannot call him a different way cooking because you know i'm talking about the banico banico pai pai right pai pai the uh, pai pai. one two pai pai. but uh, it's still a little bit flicking in it but it's good because it's quick and if you use kamagong in it or pipe then you still get knocked out on that. That's good. But I want the direct point. I really try to strike that nobody can block it anymore. I try that. So that is why I came up. Instead of doing this, I go straight to the other side. That's why I said, where did you get hit when I whack you in front? When I whack you in front, where did you get hit? And then you said, here. Yeah. I oh, know here. Yeah. I, I said, said no, you get hit on the other side. Yeah. I said, why? I, because I'm going here, see? One and from there to there, see? Chips. Yeah. It's just like a banico, but I go the second strike. Ooh, just like 
direct to the point, see? Whack. But hit the other side. Yeah. I, mind you, when this when this was going on, I got called out to the front. I'm not sure what's going on. All of a sudden, I see a low, you know, a full power strike coming straight at me. And that's where I just tell myself, don't move and let it go. And it looked like it was coming this way, but actually ended up on the other side. That's what's uh, that's kind of what's transpired on the video there. Just to share a little the bit. The second one that I want to go over is like this one where you, um, oh. you do a blindfold. Yeah. Okay. The training, like uh, from the basic up to the grouping system, the training of that, I give, there is a training for students. And this is different training for the instructors also together. All right. So the training of that blindfold is, I know already, like a mastered memory. Again, that is, I know what is your next move. Because I will always tell everybody, every time I strike, even mine is slow, make it yours quick, as fast as you can. That is why I'm used to that. Quick, strike quick, counter quick. Because myself, I'm learning how to block that quick. I'm training myself also. I'm teaching him, but I'm training myself how to block and wave myself also. I'm not just training him just for him. I'm training myself also. That is why it doesn't matter. My speed is still the same. I think it's more than now, you know. Were, were there any ranks or promotions during that seminar you had over the weekend? Rank? I mean, like, were there any promotions? Level. Like, did you yeah. promote any? Yeah, some, uh, you know, uh, people like to test with the grandmaster with the label <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah, that's level, level one oh, and that's level two experience. mostly at level three which is i will not test them if the instructor is not there mm -hmm. i want to make it sure that the instructor is there like john his student is there i'm teaching him then i will i will i will uh, teach i will tell um i will tell uh, john to what is the mistake of this one? What is the mistake of this? And then I will tell him that uh, teach him this, teach him that, because that is not the fault that they cannot get it. That is the fault of the instructor. Yeah. Why you did not teach them that? Yeah. So I'm not looking for the student. I'm looking for the students. I'm looking mostly from the instructor. Yes. To make sure that they're being taught correctly is what it is, but yeah, at the, yeah but at the level testing, yeah, we had we had one level three tester, we had three level twos and two level ones, you know, and it's it's one of those things you got to experience the, uh, you know, testing in front yeah, of G. Yeah, kind of, because later on, it's going to be very uh, uh, nervous. It's very you know, in front of me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have one guy testing for qualified instructors, even even one. Out of 24 techniques that he learned, even number one, he cannot remember. He always go back to to uh, see his uh, note. <laughs> I said, bring that in the middle. See what you ain't doing. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know that guy, dude. <laughs> no comment. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, you know, everybody's good friends, and everybody knows everybody within the organization. I mean, every the organization is 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 fairly close with each other, so we all we all pretty get intimately know about different things. But so no, I mean, it's a it's a nervousness. The nerves really. That's yeah. the thing about training with GM. You know that people don't realize. Um, it's one thing for you to know, but it's another thing to be nervous. And then when you get nervous, even with a you know little mistake or a little you know a little slip, all of a sudden gets compounded because why? The room is so quiet. I mean, you the only voice you hear is GMs. You could have 250 people in the room and it's only GM and you and having that, you know, being flustered. So if you 
aren't comfortable being in front of people, not comfortable with what you know, you really yeah. test to see what comes out of you. So it's it's really a it's really an experience. So that they, they, later on, when they uh, do for the higher one, they, they don't they don't get scared anymore. You see, and uh, you know, I want them to use to me. You know, I I'm not that like they put any the deadliest martial arts, and then they put me there balintawak. I, I don't like that. I don't really like that. The the dangerous martial arts. I don't want people to get scared of me. Dangerous. <laughs> Why is so, dangerous? Before we go to the final section of the interview for the rapid fire, I'm making this as an aggregate question of what was sent to us. In many cases, the reason why you're the most successful FMA guy on the planet right now is because you teach in a very Montessori type of way. You'll teach your student and then they be become a master. But in order for them to progress to the next level, you make every requirement for them to be also teachers and to be to be a good teacher because otherwise they don't get promoted. It's like, what's the use of being a, you're not a master if you can't teach what I actually taught you. So it's a very Montessori way, very brilliant way of, of doing things. It's very different in a sense from the way that Filipinos learn in a very avuncular way from your Tito or you're from your Lolo, right? Um, where you get fe fed like small grains of rice over time and before you get reach the mastery. So I want you in, in a succinct possible way as you can, as a shorthand way as you can, to compare the individual flavor differences of Balintawak, the methodologies and approaches of Velez, Vilyasin, the three Bobbies, you're one of them, and Ibanez. Oh, do you want me to answer that? Yeah, well, then, that was the question. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, a lot of people, you know, when you approach, like you're a student, okay, when you approach somebody, let's say, Villasen, Belez, myself, Ancho, whatever, whoever there, and this one is different people, right? I want you to be, people are sharp. It's just because Balintawak is big, and then you want to learn Balintawak. Well, Find an instructor, Balintawak, that you are very welcome to the dojo. And uh, also, uh, make sure so that uh, it fits you, you know. It fits you. Because there's, just like you're shopping, but you can tell straight away. You can tell straight away. Who do you in front of you when you learn something you know like that so because before this sorry my precious okay <laughs> i'm just i'm just uh, teaching this also like when i give demonstration before uh, martial arts america las vegas after my demonstration, like two o'clock in the afternoon, everybody stand up, standing in vision, clapping. And then after that, they come up to me. I really want to learn, sir. I really want to learn, sir. Mostly everywhere I go, they will applaud hard, you know. And then I said to Remy, I said, why I don't have students? I hope I only have two or three people. <laughs> That's the <laughs> hardest part. Right? Why? Why? And then I will later I said, "Oh, I don't teach much because this is secret, secretly, you know. I only teach yeah. a good people. No, yeah. because yeah. nobody come. That's right. why you have no student. Right. So everybody wants some student. Right. Right. How, how do you how do you keep your training if you don't have student? My speed and reflex, I get that all from my students. <laughs> right? Oh my God! That is why. Everything, you know? That's why I call him strike fast. Keep in mind slow. I want you to be better than me. So that is how I train. So that's what I said. Find find a person that is good for you. And then Remy said, after you demonstrate, they like train with you. I said, yeah. Oh yeah, they like it because. 
that is the first time they seen, you know, oh, wow, 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 I like to train this. And then he said, what did you give? I said, oh, uh, business card? Nice business card. Malintawan. Boom, boom, boom. And then Remy said, ah, that won't work. So I said, why not work? Say, other than that, what did you, what did you keep? I said, oh, I make it a big one. A big dryers. <laughs> he said, mm, that won't work. I said, why? He said, you know, buddy. At that time, they liked it. I mean, it's like lightning speed. Right? Knock out one time. Split second knock out. When they go home, you say, oh my God, how many years do I have to learn that speed and reflex? Because they don't have any stick fighting, see? And the one that you give, going away. Oh my God, if I get hit on that power strike split seconds, oh my God, that is very dangerous. Throw them away again. I said, so what can I do that, Remy? He said, you forget one thing. I said, what is it? You appoint me in book. <laughs> I said, why? What's, what's that do with appointment book? He said, when they come there, I want to learn you, sir. Okay, what's your name? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, how many years experience? Oh, black belt on this, black belt on that. So, on this, everything, lots of black belts. And then that means, hey, collecting, right? Now, then you right. know already right. how old are you? <laughs> now, how old are you? Now, you now. Already. How old are you? <laughs> okay, how old are you? Oh. And then you can take. And then the last one, what is it? It's 7.30 tomorrow night. It's okay for you, private. All this after, first, number one. What is your job? Well, I'm delivering this, delivering. Oh, okay. I only teach privately. So do you think that can afford you? No? So you put them in one section, like Sunday, all together from that kind of jobs. Right? Okay. Doctor. Oh. Seven thirty tomorrow night, okay? Oh yes, sir. Okay. When you go, when they go home, what will they think? Oh, oh God. the grandmaster accepted me. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Then the next one of those is when you meet them. What is the next question? How much? And that is very hard. <laughs> hard to answer that. How much do you charge? Yeah. So I will not teach that. <laughs> How do you do that? But well, John knows about yeah, that. that. That's a that's a separate discussion. <laughs> well, so so we're gonna go to the final session of our yeah, because we're, we want to talk about the future seminars that you guys are gonna have. I do want to give a shout out to two people that just kind of gave us a shout out recently. I want to say a shout out to Kuya Paul Rosales. Yep. And uh, and uh, Paolo Rubio when he gave a shout out to us. He looks like you uh, really? in his. <laughs> huh? Paolo Rubio looks what? like you. I know we have the same face. Yeah. I like yeah. I like people that had hair. I don't like people who had hairs. <laughs> oh, like John. No yeah. hair. Uh, no, oh, no, no. Right I, there. See, I, now it can't. Cool. <laughs> uh, but, um, Mano, uh, GM Bobby, like, I, I started losing my hair at such a young age. I think I was like 22 or 21 or something. I've been, I've been bald most of my life. I lost my hair so. up there, my, uh, uh for my, from my, uh, ex, ex wife. <laughs> the, the push is too much, you know, push it, push it back. <laughs> It, all my hair came off. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. You, you, you are like the seventh person that said that. That 
th there's actually a couple of elders and grandmasters in the Philippines that think that me and and, and Paulo Rubio are the same person, <laughs> or, or or not. Um, so I want to have a rapid fire. Uh, this is what I used to do in my old physics channel, and I just trying to incorporate this uh in fma discussion so i'm going to give you a list and you can only pick one and it has to be quick right so you have to pick one i give you two choices so you just answer oh, two, 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 two choices can i say, yeah. can i say uh both <laughs> <laughs> that's cheating <laughs> huh? okay oh okay i mean okay. you know fine fine right. um sea bass or seaweed both both <laughs> <laughs> sushi or quinilo uh, Kinilo. Kinilo sushi. Kinilo sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Lanzones or rambutan? Uh, Lanzones. Uh, kamagong or bahi? Both. Both. <laughs> NC or NZ? So it's a North North Carolina or New Zealand? Both. Billiards or bowling? What is the first one? Billiards. Billiards or bowling? A billiard, yeah. Uh, boxing or FMA? Both. Because <laughs> he has boxing in his FMA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I just want you to take the floor now. Like, if you want to talk about your future seminars that you have planned for the re rest of the year, uh, GM Bobby, uh, June, um, just talk whatever you want. Shout outs, acknowledgements. I'm, I'm, I'm done. So, yeah, or yeah, any other topics you want to talk about? Well, G uh, um, GM. Uh, well, I'll, I'll go before before we. Uh, so first of all, before I kind of go give my um, the seminar thing, I do want to acknowledge. I want to thank my team of guys. I mean, you know, uh, the guys that are here that were here supporting me. I mean, I had I tried to get a professionally run organ um, event from last year. All the guys that were there from Ezra Sanders and and Lillian, uh, the Jun and Paul show, Kuya Paul, uh, with Teresa de Cuerdas. I mean, he was basically manning a lot of the the uh you know a lot of the thing the little details that were going on there uh that helped me kind of uh you know get things going and especially my wife i want to acknowledge that i mean she was running a lot of the details there with with uh different components to allow me to just kind of focus on on the event and what was going on so i want to make sure that i i want to acknowledge uh, those components there um and uh one of the last ones are my students i mean I had, you know, it was a in, in the fitness gym. We had a lot of equipment everywhere, and it, we showed up an hour early and told everybody, "Hey, I need those over there." Moved over there, and those things over there. So it was, and it ended up uh, really good. So I just wanted to thank everybody there for for their uh, assistance and help to really run a successful uh, event there. Um, now for event, upcoming event again, again in in Cincinnati, Ohio. Check out maktanfma.com because the information is there for the event next week next week saturday may 8th there will be an event with gm bobby in house uh uh in house for um the seminar um yeah there it is he typed it on on, on the message uh separately the june and paul show is going to be uh posting some of our our videos so definitely check that out and uh 10 10 uh 1010 shooting event firearms event we will have also for the Jen and Paul show that's going to be coming on um in October but uh this is where the firearms and projectile um events uh deal are going so those are kind of the key items there Uy, ta -usa ko talaga. yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I have, uh, because no, of, so, so maybe uh, I have a seminar on uh, Seattle Washington also Okay. We're talking about that. And maybe we have, instead of World Cup, I missed those 500 people in here last time. Oh, yes. Uh, World oh, Cup. Yeah, um, quite a bit. Maybe we have a, a little mini camp or something like that. Just to say hello to everybody. You know. <clears throat> and uh, one last one. Just first of all, congratulations to FMA discussion a few weeks ago hitting their 1,000 member mark, right? That was... That one. Hey, we got FMA Pulse there, you know, giving the, the kudos there. Hey, I can't even see you. So congratulations to that. But uh, on the interim, uh, you know, just want to kind of uh, remind everybody, you know, GM Bobby uh, has also a YouTube channel as well. Definitely everybody. It's that, already 1,000, man. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, keep them, keep them running. You got to keep what, them what, running. What's, what's next on that? I don't know. 
Uh, you have to monetize so you can get money. <laughs> yeah. So you get money to add revenue. Yeah. Your commercials, but, your commercials. Yeah. But uh, on, on that as well, too, the, you know, the Balintawak Walk pages for Balint, uh, for Balintawak Walk South Florida group, the June and Paul show, we're all there. Garate and Garaje and everybody else that, you know, just kind of the social medias. Who else is there for, for our social media that enters? But oh. uh, just to make sure when you guys look, we're, we're throwing out a lot of content, you know, everybody make sure you're subscribed. That's one of the, the kickers there, too. Um, so I just wanted to, you know, make sure to quick reminder for everybody there. And of course, especially for FMA discussion, even though they hit their mark, you can always use more. Give a shout out to the ugliest forbidden alliance of FMA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bawal there you go. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, let you go. And and I love Balenta Walk from uh or Mazda there too. There's a Facebook and, and YouTube channel. I want to make sure that they they uh they uh get in as well. I just saw the message pop up. There you go, Ramaza. <laughs> Jim, Bobby, you go finish the floor, sir. Right. There is a, a, a reminding also of everybody that there is some um, uh, a clips there that making himself big, you know, and everything that he promoted, like Abner Pasa, uh, and then mostly they put my my play in it, my 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 thing, and my God, I, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, connected with that people. Why? Why they put every time? I, I have lots of. They have lots of uh, seen that I'm always there. So even the dangerous martial artist Belinda, I don't like that. Right. I don't. I don't really like that because I don't want to be like dangerous. It will. It will be uh, offended with anybody. Maybe, what about maybe. the other martial arts? You see. Maybe you could have some of your people, you know, talk to some of your people and go pay him a visit. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I look good, but I just don't like that thing. Also, I have to thank um, uh, Paul and June. Yes, June and Paul. Show and uh, GC and Paul uh, Santiago. Jesse, FMA Pulse, right here. Hold on. He's. Uh, uh, yeah, you're you're very quiet, right man. <laughs> FMA Pulse. Right there with the shirt. <laughs> yeah, you can post. Thank you, thank you, man. And also, uh, Julius uh, Vladimir is that Vladimir or what? Vladimir po, Russo po. Yeah, uh, yeah. Vladimir. It's just paeplos lang, paeplos na magulang. I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that blood in me. I don't know Vladimir. <laughs> no, Bla Vladimir, because may lahing hook. Kasi yung oh, isang okay. angkan ko. Yeah, that's the reason. Why. Not Julius. I'm not a commie. I'm not a commie. I'm not a commie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not Julius, not Julius uh, Putin? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> not Vladimir. <laughs> oh, well. And thank you, everyone, and uh, hope to see you soon, you know? Thank you. So, thank you as well, GM. That's what I said. Practice anything you want. <laughs> anything you want. And then figure it out yourself. <laughs> Think how to count it. Think yeah. how to count it. Yes. It's, 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 and that's, essentially, where learn. that's why I always look at YouTube or anybody that can have a share. Okay, some have, have something to offer, take it, then think how to counter it. That's it. So that's where you learn. Essentially, this is our first true, full, um, separate themed uh, FMA discussion episode. Uh, so, episode 138. I hope you guys enjoyed. Right. Um, also, thank you, Dean Franco. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Dean. yeah. And, and so, so the the final thing that I would want the our viewers to notice in me, and the final thing I have to say, is that we have a team. The most that people see is just me and Dean's face, but there are actually four of us. So when I say FMA discussion, we have our console, right, and the rest are like uh, El Capo Fier or or Capo regimes, you know, um, which is me. Brian Rodriguez and Martin DeSellers, which is 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 here in 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 this chat uh, thread. Okay. So please give them much love because it's just I know that people just see me and Dean as the face of FMA discussion. Oh yeah, but we're but we're a team. There's four of us, oh, and okay. they're just as just as responsible for the success of our channel as me and Dean are. Like I we, we sometimes Julius maybe uh post a picture of those guys and just kind of say hey introduce the team. You know, 
a yeah. collage picture or something. <laughs> there is an AP May, uh, you know, May discussion also in, in Ontario. I, I, I get confused. There's an FMA discussion? In, 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 in Canada? I thought we trademarked that name. They're going to get sued. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to get into that anyway. I have to, okay. I have to uh, get somebody to teach me how to do this, get into that yeah. uh, discussion yeah. thing. Yeah. So thank you all very much, huh? Thank you, everybody. Out, everybody, it was great uh, sharing the stories. GM, salamat po. Julius, okay, and just you. just close out, just close out your thing so that we could all log out. Thank oh, you. Me, okay. You turn it off. How yeah. do you do this? Just yung pong X, the button. There it is. So that was it, uh, folks. Uh, episode one thirty eight. Uh, for FMA discussion is a theme episode about the seminar they just had over the weekend, Balinto Walk in South Florida. It's one of the most successful seminar events, you know, of recent memory. And I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we were joined by GM Bobby, uh, Tabwada, uh, Balinto Walk, and uh, June Eliseo, June, as well as, Je as, well as Jesse, for um, even though he was there on the background from FMA Pulse. See you in the next episode. Thank you. <laughs>